So, hello everyone, it's Aldo from That Motor Show. I'm not wearing a Motor Show shirt just yet, but it's coming. Today I'm accompanied by Jamie. How you doing, man? Welcome. Thank Cheers. you for joining me on That Motor Show. Anytime. Now, I've known Jamie for a long, long time. Yeah, since you were like <laughs> that high, but hey. <laughs> yeah, a long time. <laughs> and so today we're accompanied by your VESS Commodore Ute. Yes. So let's uh, we'll dive straight into it. Yeah. The car. Let's um, start off. Year. Yeah, virtually 2007. It's a Series One. Series One. Series One. Yeah, the SSV. Yeah, um, I remember so, that TV yeah, ads on. I know they first started coming out in 06. Yeah. And then I know this one was out obviously from one year later. This was actually a custom order at first. It the original color was a it's a purple blue purple blue pearl k pal yeah that was a custom order because i'm obviously i'm the second owner to this car obviously in the 10 years that i've had it since 2013 and the previous guy obviously had it bought it since 2007 yeah so um you've owned it for quite a long time yeah yeah so, yeah i was i was going to mention so i've known this car before obviously this is a wrap the vinyl yeah. wrap it full, looks... full wrap just recently done um and the Red Bull livery, so you're a bit of a racing fan? Yeah. It's something, pure honesty, like the last three years to, you know, to get something done, but in all terms of seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Wow. Yeah, I, I remember the original colour. Yeah. And that's something I was going to mention. Uh, yeah. There's not many that I've seen in that uh, sort of like purple no. colour. You know, it's no, no. It's not a it's not a dark purple like the VEs no. had. It's, it's a lighter, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a, a blue. Yeah, the... It's it's hard to describe unless you know people have seen it bef like before it was done. Yeah. Like there'd be some days where it could be full blue in the sun. Other days it can be full bright purple. Yeah. It'd, you know, even you whack the sunglasses on, you can see the, the color effects. It's just yeah. Yeah. No. It well even this blue. Yeah. That's not a bad color. No. It it pops. It pops. It, it and really for a vinyl did. wrap, you wouldn't even. See, we're the only like how we got the original idea for the blue originally because of Scott Ellison raps. Yeah. Um, actually, on the Red Bull can the blue that was the closest blue we could find on the gloss, and so. Oh yeah. Yeah. I suppose usually I'm just used to seeing that blue a little bit more icy cold. <laughs> dripping no, down, like dripping down, or <laughs> yeah. ice cold. In my hand. Like, grab it open and crack it open. But yeah. yeah. No, it looks absolutely awesome. Little yeah. chrome accent, that's not standard, hey. Series two. Series two. Series two grill, then just the, like the insert clips, just the, um, like I had no chops choice but to break them off. <laughs> just to fit them in. Oh. I, it, even before the wrap, I was doing a bit of a muck around with it. I did have the Chevy. I did have the Chevy <laughs> badge. I know a lot of people don't agree with that. <laughs> Only because what, you know, for this year, but especially while we're getting the wrap done and I said to Scott, I said, look, I know he's, you know, it was, he was already in the first three days, four days in. Yeah. I said, look, I'm bringing the cone grill in. I had no other option. I said, I, I can't do the, I can't do the Chevy badge. A lot of people will be like, <laughs> you know, but. Oh, look, yeah. I, I'm not a huge fan of that Chevy no. badge, but yeah. um, I've spent a lot of time on these chassis. Yeah. And they're very similar to the Camaro, mm. like too similar. They are, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the engine, it's made in America. Yeah. So it, it kind of has its Like, I know place. people have their own opinions at the end of the day, but you, it's, for me, it's like, I don't care about yeah. the end of the day, but... And that's the best part. Of the yeah. Time, You're a motor enthusiast with your car, and you can have it with whatever right. way you like to have it. No, um, I agree. Make it unique. Um, yeah. And I mean, even in America, you go there and the Caprices, yeah. the cop cars, Yeah. it's... It's yeah, this. you'd still whack it's on the this. Chevy badge on. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
it's the same car. Yeah. Um, right. So owned it for a long, uh, a little while, ten years. Yeah. It's gone through a few different changes. Oh, a lot over of changes. Its time. Yeah. Mode, mode, of motor change. The first, in terms of motor wise. Yeah. It started off with just a catback system originally back in, uh, well, it's actually late 2014. Yeah. Well, for, well, I know now that I've got the V8 bug, you know, make it that <laughs> little more grunkier. Instead of having to chop, you know, the stock mid exhaust and rear mufflers, straight pipes. And it started off with a, um, it was a three inch magnum flow system at first. Yeah. And then um, X Force headers and then the OTR over the radiator. And I think at that time that punched out 346 at the wheel. 346 horsepower? Yeah, horsepower, okay. yeah. Yep, yep. Um, obviously, you tuned to 98. I will use nothing but 98. Um, and then 2015 was a bit of an actually interesting year because my, my option at the time was either do I spend, say, 2,500 bucks, get the cam, or save a little bit more and wrap it. And I thought, well, motor had to get done. Yeah. So I'm not going to mention the name. The guy no longer exists. Oh. Um, I had a bit of an issue up until 2018, um, just with the cam and the, like the lifters and all that. And a young fella down in Inverell, New South Wales, um, rebuild rebuild the motor for me. And I had um, Aaron at ASG Motorsports based at Kumo as well, which between him and Scotty, they're only like two minutes apart. Oh, beautiful. So, you know, I have no complaints of catching up with either one. But, yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, so I had the motor rebuilt. Gearbox got finally done in the last year. Yeah, so what got done to the gearbox? Because I was still running a standard auto. It was a 6L80E, I believe. Uh, so automatic. Yeah, automatic. Yeah. yeah. First automatic. I've driven plenty of these things. Yeah. Most of them manual, auto, a bit different. Mm. Especially in the U. Yeah, so yeah, and then pretty much um, I ended up optioning <laughs> for the 3000 high stall. Um, it's only just to suit the cam that, like, the previous cam I had was a 224 230. I'm not sure what the load was, <laughs> yeah. but then I ended up actually going one size up 224 232. And the only issue that I had at that time, up until start of last year when I finally got it done, um, like everyone knows, the stock standard converter, especially when you hit the brakes, waiting yeah. on traffic lights, all it wants to do is just go. Yeah. So, now nah, fully built, 3000 high stall, billets and all that internally were all redone, brand new. Wow. Um, precision, wow. precision automatics down at Ben Lee did them for me. Um, and it's, and been, then, it's been good? Yeah, no, no problems. Um, and then we did another tune on it, not till later in that year of last year. Um, Look, 406, that's the gearbox. Wow. I'm hoping if now, because I know it was a last minute thing, only because I only just picked the ute back up today from Aaron. Oh, wow. I just had to get like a fresh new service before I head away next weekend. Nice work, Aaron. Mom's. Yeah, love your work, Aaron. <laughs> like, um, picked it up today. All it had to get, like, all I had to, like, service. Um, and then we found out, because I thought originally the rear main seal on the back of the block which I know was leaking. I know it's a common thing for any high-performance <laughs> car, standard car. LSs. They do leak. <laughs> but it was the valley, LS things. Um, the valley on the back of the intake, the gaskets, that was, that was my biggest problem. So thanks to the boys again. It's all fresh and And they got that of, done over a day or? Yeah, today. Oh, wow. so, Good job, team. That's an that's yeah. a, a effort. I will not use anyone else but no. them. No, I've got many oh. friends that use them. Yeah. Who use Aaron, um, Cody. And, yeah. Um, That's, yeah, I met Cody with through actually, oddly enough, for Aaron as well. So, yeah. Well, they've got that Hellraiser panel there. Yeah, That's exactly. Insane. Still sitting there in the back shed today. Still saw it at the back. Well, so, until next time. Yeah, <laughs> until next time. What sort of suspension are you running? Oddly enough, in this past year, actually, um, so I were, was running super low. Super, super low, I should add, King Springs. Yeah. And uh, oddly enough, the shocks, I actually fanned out. They weren't, I thought it originally it was a magnetic shock. Yeah. But no, they weren't. They were actually um, pedders. Yeah, okay. 
So I ran into a bit of a problem before the end of last year, like in terms of comfort and all the noise and all that. And so um, thanks to a mate of mine, uh, Michael Wall Whitey, he's based at Yarra Bilba. So if anyone wants to hit up um, MNN, MNN Rubbers, he's the guy too. And he's done me a full um, XYZ coilover system. Wow. Just obviously for street use anyway. So Yeah. No, or well, even you take it on track. Yeah. It's still going still gonna to hook up. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but, um, they're not bad at all. No, so no. Since like it's been one year later, I'm still getting used to the whole the non-suspension to a, a full coilover system, and the I've different. never looked back since. The, the stiffness in the springs, yeah, compared to standard, yeah, chalk and cheese, chalk and cheese, chalk and cheese, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's running twenties. Uh, 20s... No, nineteen by eight fives. Yeah. Nine in, yeah, nine and by eight fives. I was running twenty by eight fives previously. Yeah. On my original set of uh, oh, there were uh, American Racing wheels, similar to your sisters. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, just the style and the shape was well and different. But I've gone no, back to looks... I, I've had a, nothing but no problems with Speedy Cheaters. Just to me, that just the racing style look. Yeah. No, it's definitely got a. Apart from the vinyl, it's definitely yeah. got a sporty sort of look to yeah. it. You know, especially the wheels look awesome. Speedy. Yeah. Can't speedies. go wrong with nah. a good old nah. set of speedies. I Sort of like in maybe in the start of the new year, though, in terms of uh, color wise, like I don't have a problem with the hyper silver. It's It does suit it really well for what it's, what a, you know, what I've achieved for a long time, but I will want to get it in white, but I'm thinking more of a matte white. Matte white? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that will look different. Yeah. That will look pretty cool. Yeah. Like, look, I mean, everyone pops. has their own. I, I, look, I, yeah, 100% will pop. Like, I know everyone has their own opinions, but at the end of the day, it's how I want it. Yeah, and that's, that's the best part. Yeah. No, it, so. It's an absolutely cool SS. You, and, I mean, it's, a, it's an Australian muscle car. Yeah. It's, it's unique. It's, look, they're, they're not rare. No. But... The original colour of this car is? It, the original colour, yeah, it is. It's not cheap either. It would, for a full respray, like anyone can say, oh, we can do it for this price, that price. Originally, I was looking at 10 grand for a full respray, in close to a respray. Indo? Yeah. Wow. So uh, that's why I went half that money and spent it on the wrap. Why not? Yeah. Like, like Christina's car. Yeah. Uh, we done the vinyl on that. It wasn't overly expensive. No. And it looks a million dollars. Yeah, 100%. I'm definitely my little Nissan Micro. Yeah, I'm oh, planning, yeah I remember that. I'm yeah. planning on doing a wrap on that. Why not? Like a, a British racing green with a big old matte black stripe down the middle. Straight through the center, yeah. yeah. See? A lower different. Road, make it look cool. Yeah. Hey, it's Micro? No. But, and so where did your passion for cars come from? Supercars. Supercars? Supercar look, there's a couple in mind. Supercars, because like, you know, everyone watches... You know, so it doesn't matter. You could be watching Bathurst. Everyone loves Bathurst. But for me, look, you know, we live in Queensland. For me, it's, look, the streets of the Gold Coast. Yeah. Love it. Always have, like, I know everyone, you know, because they want to bring back the indie. Would be an idea. Oh, it'd be awesome. But if it come to a number one track in this whole country, yeah, everyone would say, yeah, Bathurst 100%, but Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Home forever. track. Uh, it I just love this, you know, for me personally, street, street, the street style race, 10 times better. Yeah. You know, and you're doing endurance races, that, that's a long, long haul. But no, I prefer street races. Yeah, well, they're going, I don't know, 200 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Plus, those yeah. little chicanes. Yeah. Oh, it, Mate, <laughs> I've, I've been no there. No speeding tickets there, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you see the meter, the meter blokes walking around. Oh. <laughs> Nah, I mean, I've been there live and seen those cars smack those walls. Look, oh, yeah. it's bad for the team, but it's exciting. No, for it is. The like, you know, they have had their moments. You know, I know for the, you know, for the boys of the Red Bull now, I know that, oddly enough, they've actually been now, I think, from memory for 10 years too. Wow. 20, yeah, 2013 from Red Bull till now. And, um, wow. yeah, look, I opted for Craig Lowndes, like, as a tribute to him. Up to He's the great, up to Lowndesy. Look, sorry, Shane, but look, <laughs> huge fan of you as well. I've been following you for a long, long time as well. Um, but look, at the end of the day, it's a triple eight. I yeah. love triple eight. No, look, triple eight, double eight, 
97. So, yeah. But, um, up the yeah, Feeney. Up the Feeney. <laughs> uh, even, uh, yeah, I remember my yeah. earliest memory, Craig Lowndes, with the uh, Vodafone Falcons. Yeah. Vodafone, be- I think, uh, Better Electrical. Yeah, even the Caterpillar. Yeah. Caterpillar Falcon. Yeah. I remember... The black and... I think it was black and grey? Black and silver? Black and silver. Yeah. And had the... Uh, I think the AU had the green headlights. Yes. <laughs> yes. The Angry Predator. Angry Predator one. Yeah, yeah. I remember them very, very well. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool car. All right, so, and so... And, yeah, like, in my, like, and the other passion part, of, like, with other cars, too. Um, so, you know, watching everyone on, like, YouTube, doesn't matter who you could watch. For me, for mostly more into the cars, it's Daily Driven Exotics. I love Daily Driven Exotics. Dave and Damon, mate. <laughs> this is a, in Australia, this is our Daily Driven Exotics. Yeah, <laughs> I would say it's a Daily Driven weekend. It's, I know it's a weekday at the moment, but come on. <laughs> But you have used this car as a daily at hundred percent from uh, the, yeah hundred percent from the time that I bought it, it was daily old for a very very long time <laughs> and um look you know as as we all know at the moment, times are hard like yeah. I'm sorry, but fuel prices are that's ridiculous yeah it's bs to be honest, but and you know like you know, everyone trying to afford rego and then so yeah, yeah. so rego fuel. Maintenance, it's just, yeah, ridiculous. a little bit extreme, hey. Yeah, it, it really is. You bang for the buck. Even even E10, I got uh, Unfortunately, I got to put E10 in my micro. Yeah, it suits it. Yeah. Um, nothing wrong with a bit of ethanol save the environment. No. But even no. that, but using th- it's a dollar eighty. No, well that's just then just you- And then you know how they always said, and I'm sorry, but I don't agree to what doesn't matter what Holden or the government says. In a car like for a V8. Never ever run E10. No. Everyone knows what they're like on E10. Yeah. Of course, like, you know, like a car like yours or yeah. uh, whatever, like a modern day car that, that can actually take the E10. Yeah. And it, you know, it probably, it, longevity? Yeah. It's not good for it. No. Every now and then I do wash it out with a bit of 98. Same thing with my daily, with the Camry. Yeah. yeah. Camry, you- I would always, look, at, on very rare occasion, yeah, one stage, yeah, I want I couldn't afford it, E10. But now it's only, you can still get away with 91, but 98, yeah. don't care. I've honestly found the better mileage out of the 95. Uh, 95, yeah. 95 octane. 95 octane, I can't see for a four cylinder car, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've, I've done all the math, done all my calculations yeah. in my little yeah. car. 95 octane? Yeah. It's probably the better alternative. Mm. But I mean, yeah, for this, 98. Yeah, 98. You, you can't. You... And look, I, I was, um, the options of, uh, there probably in the new year. I'm I'm con- kind of considering a flex fuel, yeah, flex fuel system. Not a I idea. found a way of um of getting away with it. Yeah, but it's just a matter of I because see I know um I know with Aaron, but see for him it's only you know supercharged or you know obviously with Cody <laughs> the twin turbo, turbo system, two thousand horsepower. You lucky bastard. But 1600 for that boy, you yeah. can't hold <laughs> But no, look, um, look, I know the Series 2, they do come factory with flex. Yeah. Series 1, they don't. It wasn't until, I think it was about the 2008, 2009 mark when they started doing the Series 2 with the flex. Yeah. And um, I just, as for me, it's not horsepower gains. It's, I love the smell. I yes. love it. Anyone would love the smell. <laughs> yeah. Cody Prime example again, sorry, mate. But it's, yeah, pure honesty, man. It's, look, for me to say midweek, even though I'm just, you know, keeping it as a weekend car, best yeah. I can, yeah. flat out be 98. Or say if I'm mucking around, look, even go down to the strip or go around the circuit at QR especially, yeah. I would love to run E85. So the only way that I know that I oh, can do it fit. is the fuel pump. And uh, injectors, thousand cc injectors, yep. and obviously the two base tune for you know ninety eight, and then obviously on ethanol. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not. Yeah, like I said, not too fast on horsepower. It's nah. Gain or loss. Yeah. No, well, I'm very much the same. E eighty five. Yeah. The smell. Yeah. Yes. All right. It's got all the benefits yeah. for your engine, but yeah, anyone can agree the smell of E eighty five corn booze. 
unreal. Yeah, it uh, makes or breaks. Definitely. Yeah, <laughs> you got a you got a car that sounds cool. Yeah. You want it to smell cool too. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. Especially Not, when I add some additives to it just to make that real pop smell. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, 100 percent. Yeah. So you take it on track days. I've actually not taken on it. Actually, last time it was actually a year ago. Okay. Um, there was that cruise the night away. It was the last time. Cruise the night away. Yeah. That sounds that sounds fun. Yeah, cruise the night away. Yeah. yeah. It, I, like I know I've missed it. Obviously this year, I mean, you know, I can't say because you know everyone has their own thing, work or you know just yeah. relax. But life gets in the way. Yeah. But um, I definitely want to start taking around the track again. Like I've since it's been done, like with the wrap and everything, I've had a lot of like thumbs up and yeah. a couple of people asking you know why have you done this for at the end of the day like i said previous it's something i've been chasing for a long time as far as i'm aware of and hope to god no one else has done this but for me it's a one-on-one yeah i've not seen anyone else in this country that pulled off something like this oh, i've never seen it no <laughs> so social media is pretty good at tracking down things like this too oh they are so i mean it's definitely a one on one. Yeah. And even even if it wasn't, strip the vinyl back and again, it's hard to come and no by one, the original it, it's colour. Just there. And then who recognises the car after? The only way to did give away everyone know it would be the license plate. Yeah. But <laughs> nah, I like it. Yeah. It looks cool. I'm not I'm not really a Holden fan. No. I, I am. I am. Yeah, I'm look, a fan you of the... you grew up in a family that's forward and yeah. obviously my side <laughs> of the family we're up on Holden. Yeah. So nah. Oh, look, at the end yeah. of the day, I'm a big fan of the Australian muscle car. Yeah. Um, even though you wouldn't really label an XR6 turbo muscle car. No. It's still an Australian made car. Car. And yeah. the motor too, the barrel, yeah. the, up the barrel. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not huge on the no. full barrel barrel. I have one and you yeah. will see it soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, look, it's not happy at the moment, but yeah. that's another story for another day. Yeah, it's right, no, 100%, 100%, <laughs> but, but yeah. No, I'm a big fan of it. And as for, you have another toy at home that is a Holden. Yeah. It is a pretty cool one. Yeah, thank you. The VK. Oh, the old girl. The old girl. Yeah, two, it's a it's white VK, 2002. Oh, two, two i two. let me re-add. 2i2, not 2002, Jesus. 2002, that's a no, very brand new VK. No, v, VK, you know, it's a, it's a 202, <laughs> 202 VK Group B, Calais. Group B, Cat. Um, that was my learners, my P plates, and then up until the opens up until when, this thing when I bought on. this thing. Yeah. I will uh, have to definitely get that one on the show. Yeah, I'd love to. The I'll, VK is definitely, yeah. te- this turns heads for sure. Uh, it does. It, look, you know, even on the way in, man, people are still like, you know, head bobble. Yeah. The only thing like, you know, obviously I don't want to cause <laughs> anyone to, you know, to get an accident because of this. Um, but I, I have been appreciating the, um, the looks and, you know, even the little kids, yeah. um, for photos and all that. Um, it's definitely going to be going to a lot more places next year. I've just got to just, let's just say a few little hurdles I've got to get around first. It happens. But which, yeah, it, look, it happens with things like this, but, um. Yeah, look, I had my hurdle, I was racing a Mustang and two Ringlands decided yeah. to leave the chat. <laughs> So, this, no. Hurdles yeah. do happen. No, but um, I'm definitely going to try and start. Um, <laughs> I want to take it out for next year. Yeah, no, there's plenty, plenty of yeah. shows and even Queensland Raceway. Yeah, they got so many new events happening. Yeah, uh, awesome facility. Awesome facility. facility since they've, yeah, I've seen they've, they've done a, a lot of work to that in the last few years. Yeah, yeah. I've, so I've done a lot of circuit racing out there, and the. <laughs> It is, it's welcoming to be there. It really you know is. I mean? And see, for me, but like, you know, because everyone knows, like, I know it's Gold Coast 500, but Gold Coast 600, what well, it should have been, how it should have stayed. Gold Coast 600. And the only thing, because um, now for me personally, it like, so I'm going to say in the next year, because I know they're doing, uh, obviously, the back of the streets next year of the Gold Coast, I'd actually love to put this on display. Yeah, I really we'll would. Uh, we'll put a boost sticker on the back of it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Mr. Adderton? Mr. Adderton, yeah. Why not? <laughs> so, but yeah, look, I'd love to show this more, a little bit more better. Yeah. But, but yeah, well, time, and time will tell. How cool would that be? Yeah. Yeah, as, far, as long as I've known Jamie, you've always been a fan of yeah, yeah. the supercars. Yeah. I remember um, 
I went over to your place once and we were sitting down playing the, the old V8 supercar yeah, game. Yeah, the old supercar game. Yeah, there. one, two, and three. Yeah, how cool were they? Yeah, number three. Come on, number three. <laughs> it was awesome. You, got, yeah. you started your own little race team and you yeah. had your car and you made your way through. Oh. Yeah. So. Unfortunately, a few little crashes here and there, but hey. <laughs> I, I, I definitely remember plenty of crashes, but <laughs> that's all the part Get of the learning. Away. <laughs> yeah, nah. But yeah. Uh, all right, so pretty much, I think, I don't know, that, unless you have any questions from myself. No. I think that's no. going to wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up, yeah. I'm a big fan of the car, Jamie. Yeah, thank um, you, mate. We'll definitely make a Series 2 of this oh, 100%. Like, video. I 100%. Like, video. Look, I, there's more things in the next year. I've got to just work out, obviously, at the end of the day, big boys and their toys. It's never ending. No. There's a few, in terms of engine mods, fuel system, like I said, there's a few little things I want to get to touch it up i'm not like for me it's on horsepower i love horsepower anyone loves horsepower yeah <laughs> the thing is i'm not too fast on how much either i gain or like so you know do the like i said the fuel flexible system yeah i'd love to get anything above 500 that'll do me yeah i don't want to go anything more than what i have to 500 is plenty 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 like. so in, yeah so i'm looking at definitely in the next year flexible system yeah and definitely i will be hitting up aaron um, to get the um, CNC heads, so that's that's an indefinite next item it's to happening. do list. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I yeah. Know, it's, um, before, when you were saying that this is the ideal, this is what you've envisioned. Yeah. I'd have to call you out on that because it never ends. No, it, it, look, <laughs> it, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. Like everyone's saying, you know, look for me, I'd love to say maybe work a supercharger. Yep. Or, yeah, you know, charged. say, well, it's just a single turbo, run it on a small amount of boost, because I know the stock bottom ends can handle them. Yeah. Same with supercharger, we'll flat out take it. Yeah. But it's what's internally loaded down the track, it's my biggest concern on how it'd handle. So. I'm sure uh, Aaron down at ASG can. Yeah. It will work something now, but. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Until then, I, I just want to chase that, and look, 500 mark, even. I asked him actually on this um, not too long ago. Um, one of the previous times that I caught up with him actually when I had the uh, oil pressure the oil pressure sensor done. Oh, okay. After it faulted out and then whacked a new one for me, and I actually asked him. I said, "Look, what can I do to get 500? Like, I'm not worried about say you know recam it or I love the ground in this thing. Although an aggressive cam would be nice, <laughs> but he said no heads." Heads, heads. Yeah, get a bit more flow happening. Yeah, a bit more, a bit, bit, bit of a more better airflow. Like, obviously, yeah, it's like fully, it's full map tuned, so. Yeah. But uh, airflow is king. CCs. Yeah. Chamber CCs is where it's at, volumetric efficiency. Yeah. That's the suck, bang, blow. You definitely make a lot of suck and it's going to make a lot of bang. Blam, it's bang definitely going to, yeah. yeah. It's definitely going to go. One day it, it might blow or. No. But no. She'll not, hang in there. Yeah. For now. For now. <laughs> but no. no. Oh, it's, it's, it's not silly. You've done everything right. Yeah. Um, bit by bit. Yeah. I've done it all. Like, I would say for me, I've done it by the book and it's done it proper way. Yeah. So I'd rather do it for the way, you know, for how long, like, I've lost count on exactly, you know, in terms of like um, price wise, I've lost count. Yeah. It's, you know, 10 years is a lot. Yeah. And the price? <laughs> You don't even have to think about that. No. Well, I mean, it come, you have to think about it when you're it spending does, it. It does, but at the end of the day... You've got to forget yeah. it. No. You have to... You'll never... Well, not never. You'll never no. not get your money back. But no. But you're not planning on getting your money back. No. You have no, fun. Never you're enjoying your car. Thing. No. This is your... Always. This is your car. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... You, you started a journey with this car. Yeah. It's a forever on journey. Yeah, 100%. Never going to end. No. <laughs> So. Until they, I don't know, when one day they remove fuel, but that's going to be a long time away. That's another conversation for another yeah, that, day. That's, that's probably like a part three, part four, but no. Yeah. I have my own opinion. Look, everyone has their own opinions with electric. Yeah. We all flat out now. It's... Yeah, that's... Uh, that's <laughs> all I'm going to say. The electric yeah, electric car scene. It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. But uh, pretty much, so, yeah. we're going to wrap that one up. <laughs> Get us close to my camera. Like, we're going to wrap that one up there. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of this car, fan of loungy, fan of Triple Light. Yeah. 
Fan of X Force. Up the magpies. I don't know what's AFL, <laughs> but up the magpies in. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Gear Wrench. You'll see a lot more of that in my how to videos. So that's another oh, yes. part of my yep. channel. So we're going to be uploading videos on fixing cars too. There you go. But no, thank you so much, Jamie, good, for your time, mate. No I problem. really thank you very appreciate much. that. Appreciate Again, it. It's, so, yeah. it's another step forward for this channel. Yeah. If um, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Follow Jamie. I'm I'll link his Instagram as well. Sly L98. Sly L98. Well, even if um, actually better yet, TikTok. TikTok? TikTok. Yeah, I'll tag all of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm still setting up all my TikTok and but all yeah. of that, but I've got Instagram, YouTube yeah. rolling there, yeah. but I'll tag it all. Yeah, no. But thank you so much for your Ooh, time. Mate. No problem. That motor show, don't forget it. We'll be back again. <laughs> yeah, fuck.